Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and only sin shall be added unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jeff. Reminds me of a saying that Jesus had when he was telling one of his stories and he made the point tucked away in the rest of it about the deceitfulness of wealth the deceitfulness of money reminds me many years ago down in Sydney there was a guy living in abject poverty he lived in a little hovel of an apartment didn't even have a proper toilet on it didn't have running water didn't have any facilities that we would consider essential just a bare bed and an old chair and that was it and spent his days rummaging around in rubbish bins and some of the people in the apartment noticed that he'd been missing for a little while hadn't seen him for a few days didn't notice him for a few more days and also noticed a strange smell coming police were called and they went in and it was sad the poor man had died in abject poverty and from what they could gather looked like he had died of hunger. But as they were cleaning up and doing all the things that happened, they found a suitcase underneath his bed. And the suitcase was packed with $20, $50 and $100 notes. He had literally hundreds of thousands of dollars, but he died of hunger. Now that's what I call poverty. Uh, by comparison, <laughs> I, I, I describe wealth as being wealthy, as being wealthy enough to give something away, even if it's just a small amount. I was going through a checkout one time and looked behind, and there was a, a woman coming through with a couple of small children, shopping basket, and she was looking pretty perturbed about whether she was going to have enough, and. It only cost me a few dollars, but I, I just said, uh, why don't we buy the first few items of yours in on my account? Now, it was no big deal for me, except that for her, and all of a sudden she was in tears and joyful, oh, I'll never forget this, all, all of those things. The reality was that the actual wealth isn't measured in the amount of money we have, but by what we can actually give away and all of us at some stage or another can be giving something away and that is literally the heart of God who has given us eternal life the greatest gift that he can and it's our privilege to be able to share that and pass that on in whatever way we can God bless you First the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's it from uh, Yurangan up on the Fraser Coast near Harvey Bay and God bless you all. You get into the Word and let the Word of God get into you.